Now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by this sun of York. And all the clouds that lowered upon our house in the deep bosom of the ocean, buried. Now are our brows bound with victorious wreaths, our bruised arms hung up for monuments, our stern alarums changed to merry meetings, our dreadful marches to delightful measures. Grim-visaged war has smoothed his wrinkled front, and now, instead of mounting barbed steeds to fright the souls of fearful adversaries, he capers nimbly in a lady's chamber to the lascivious pleasing of a lute. But I, that am not shaped for sportive tricks, nor made to court an amorous looking glass, I that am rudely stamped and want love's majesty to strut before a wanton ambling nymph, I that am curtailed of this fair proportion, cheated of feature by dissembling nature, deformed, unfinished, sent before my time into this breathing world, scarce half made up, and that so lamely and unfashionable that dogs bark at me as I halt by them. Why, love forswore me in my mother's womb, and for I should not deal in her soft laws, she did corrupt frail nature with some bribe to shrimp mine arm up like a withered shrub, to heap an envious mountain on my back, to shake my legs of an unequal size, to disproportion me in every part, like to a chaos, or an unlicked bare whelp that carries no impression like the dam. Why, I, in this weak piping time of peace, have no delight to pass away the time, unless to spy my shadow in the sun, and descant on my own deformity. Then, since this earth affords no joy to me, but to command, to check, to all bear such as are of better person than myself, I'll make my heaven to dream upon the crown. And whilst I live to account this world but hell, until this misshaped trunk that bears this head be round impelled with a glorious crown. But yet I know not how to get the crown, for many lives stand between me and home. And I like one lost in a thorny wood that rends the thorns and is rent with the thorns, seeking a way and straying from the way, not knowing how to find the open air, but toiling desperately to find it out, torment myself to catch the English crown. And from that torment I will free myself or hew my way out with the bloody air. I can smile and murder whilst I smile and cry content to that which grieves my heart and wet my cheeks with artificial tears and frame my face to all occasions. I'll drown more sailors than the mermaid shall. I'll play the orator as well as Nestor, deceive more slyly than Ulysses could and like a Sinon take another Troy. I can add colors to the chameleon, change shapes with Proteus for advantages, and set the murderous Machiavel to school. Can I do this and cannot get a crown? Tut were it further off, I'll pluck it down. Meantime, I'll marry with the Lady Anne. And here she comes. <laughs> Lamenting her lost love. Edward, Prince of Wales, whom I some small time since stabbed in my angry mood at Tewkesbury. A sweeter and a lovelier gentleman this spacious world cannot again afford. And made her widow to a woeful bed. 
that from his loins no hopeful branch might spring to cross me from the golden time I look for.